Now, another key aspect you must understand is that for any muscle to exert any action or any effect on any joint, the muscle has to cross the joint. What I mean by that? For instance, okay, for the shoulder joint, okay, for any muscle to act on the shoulder joint, either extension or flexion, that muscle has to originate above the joint and insert distal to the joint. So if the muscle is not crossing the axis of the joint, it will not gonna act on that joint. So for all the muscles that they have to work on the joint, on the shoulder joint, either flexing or extending, they must cross the joint. They must have an attachment above the joint and another attachment below, below the joint, okay? For the elbow joint, it is the same story, okay? The muscle has to originate above the joint and insert below the joint, which means the muscle should cross the joint. If the muscle is not crossing the joint, it will not gonna act on that joint. Have this in mind. For any muscle to exert an effect or an action in any joint, either extension, flexion, rotation, they must cross the axis of, of the joint. Now, some muscles, they cross more than one joint. Then, how are we gonna look at those? Now, if the muscle is crossing more than one joint, that means it acts on all the joint it crosses. So, if a muscle that crosses the shoulder joint and also crosses the elbow joint, that means this muscle will act on the shoulder joint and also it will act on the elbow joint. Now, always due to the leverage of the muscle, the muscle exert its most action on the most distal joint it is crossing. Which means, if I have a muscle that crossing the shoulder joint and crossing the elbow joint, that means this muscle will act on the shoulder joint and also it will act on the elbow joint. But because the elbow joint is the distal joint, the most action of that muscle will gonna be exerted on the, on the elbow joint. Again, if the muscle is crossing more than one joint, its most action exerted on the most distal joint. So if the muscle crossing the shoulder and the elbow, its most action will gonna be on the elbow joint. If the muscle is crossing the carpal joint and the digital joint, that means the muscle will act on the carpus and also it will act on the digit, but its main action will gonna be on the digit. The most stronger action will gonna be on the most distal one. If you understand the flexion angle, if you understand how the muscle exerts an action on the joint by crossing the joint, by understanding that muscles that cross more than one joint exert their most action on the most distal joint, these are key points. If you understand them, it's gonna be very easy for you to figure out and to understand the actions of all the intrinsic muscles that we're gonna dissect.